Well, I'll finally get out here in San Francisco, U.S. because the fog has been so bad. But as soon as it started to clear up, here comes the fog again. So herds and herds of people are getting out for a few minutes before it becomes drizzly and more foggy and impossible to even go outside. But I'll see if I can find a place that's not so busy and we'll do the video today. I think we found a spot human free for right now except for of course us. So I wanted to uh, discuss a few things with you. Uh, one is more extinction problems that are happening around the world. This time it's lemurs in Madagascar. 111 different species of lemurs exist there. 105 are threatened with extinction and that just happened in the last 15 years. So there's two basic problems, well three, is loss of habitat, that's the big one. Lemur poaching, now that didn't start until just recently, about five years ago. They think that the, uh, the tourists that show up there want to eat exotic foods and so they're trying lemur and people are really liking it. Unbelievably stupid eating an endangered animal on a restaurant plate. If you go to Indonesia, stay away from the lemur. In fact, you shouldn't eat any meat in any country, period, regardless if it's wild or domestic. It's really quite disgusting, isn't it? Lemur meat. Ugh. Lemurs are very close to humans, you know? So there's a couple other things that are threatening the lemur population, and of course that's logging. Logging is probably one of the biggest problems because of the two woods that come there that people like, both in the U.S., the U.K., and other expensive areas in the world where they export to for flooring and siding and that sort of thing. So one of the uh, hardwoods that people are grabbing as fast as they can, of course, is rosewood. Rosewood is causing lemur extinction. Ebony. Ebony is also causing lemur extinction. Both these hardwoods are now becoming harder and harder to find and they're going deeper and deeper into the jungle that are left untouched. So one of the biggest problems is Chinese carvers. They love to use rosewood. Unfortunately it's because of its price, $135. The carvings are only sold pretty much over in Japan and other Asian countries as well as the U.S. People, stay away from rosewood. You're helping to make animals go extinct. What kind of woods should you be using? There's not very many. Pine and pre-manufactured woods such as bamboo. Bamboo only takes a couple years for the plant to grow to maturity, which is just a grass and can be quickly renewed. And it also helps the ground, puts nutrients into the ground. So let's talk about one other thing, how greenhouse gas emissions have surged in 2017. I can't imagine why. 450 scientists have taken part in a study and they have proven pretty much in their paper that greenhouse gases are going up faster than ever before in the history of the planet. We are driving ourselves to extinction very, very fast. My last video had a link to Paul Beckworth video on this very subject of how people will become extinct through heat exhaustion and dying of heat waves. However, as he shows, not everywhere is going to be affected by the heat waves. So humans are going to continue on for many years to come. You might as well do whatever you can do to try and save off as long as we can what's the inevitable. One way you can do it is by planting one native tree on your property. Do not plant it near the house or near a fence. However, you can replace fences with trees. Here in California, the new way of making uh, fencing is with redwood trees planted right next to each other in two rows and they will grow into a fence very quickly and nobody will get through 
a solid fence of redwood trees. Plus it's a beautiful barrier. It uh, brings in all kinds of natural bird life. You have to keep the thing pretty well trimmed at the lower end so you don't end up with a fire hazard surrounding your home. So I wanted to just bring up a little issue of mine that's really got me irritated and that's are humans getting really stupid now? For an example here, Yellowstone National Park has bison, always has, but the tourists don't seem to be heeding the warnings to stay away from the animals. I have a video link down below where we're seeing stupid is in. They're having some of their highest tourism ever in Yellowstone Park. Even though there was a, a crack in the rock that was to be blamed as a fissure, turned out it wasn't. And the, the uh, huge amount of smoke in the air from all the wildfires this year. So humans need to start respecting what few animals are. Not many people are getting outside that much anymore because they're glued to their phones and their device and they spend their entire waking hour when they're not at work on their phone or on their device instead of getting outside. So when they once in a while do go outside, they don't know how to treat wild animals. Stay away from them. Look at them through binoculars. Have a good distance between you and them. Do not feed the animal. But this video really shows how stupid is really in. Is stupid really in or are we just going through some kind of fad where stupid is just fashionable right now? You tell me. I definitely appreciate all the videos on the last. I certainly do appreciate all the comments on the last video and the ups and the downs and definitely the new subscribers. And until next time.